All right, in doing it this way, with modifying each letter as you go, you have full control of the kerning, the placement, the angle, and the individual features to each piece of type. So if I wanted to modify it, I can round these out. like so, get rid of these extra anchor points, and just position them differently, like so, and then round. You can always turn to straights. Right, and then use curving tool when needed, but when there's multiples, it's helpful to just place your own. There we go. There we go. And you can always add more anchor points around that. Okay, so almost done. Let's have a few more letter forms to do. Again, you want to use as few anchor points as necessary to get your desired goals. Multiples just make things complicated. Let's do it like that. Okay, so I have the H. Now we need the A. And do I like that A, or do I like one from some of my other text solutions? They all seem to be a different kind of A than I drew. I think I like this one. So that's the Kavoon. So what do I do? I make a new text. Over and over, we do the same thing. Lowercase a, select it. Choose the typeface. Play with modifying, oops, modifying fonts. Here you see a lot of modifying fonts for open sans. But I want Kavoon, which is more specialized. Then I want to outline that text to turn it into just a regular vector shape. And then I want to squeeze it, tilt it, fit it in. I'm going to go a little bit faster now. I am liking all the negative shapes that are happening between the letters. Next, I'm going to do the W, same thing. In fact, what I can do is just create a new text box that is Kavoon as the typeface, because I, I like all of it. And then just do one letter at a time. Whoops. Right. 
and then I can copy and paste that, change the letter, copy and paste that. Come on, select it. Change the letter, just so I have them all. And then go into them individually and outline them, make them bigger, squeeze them, place them, rotate them, so that they work. There are ways to do type on a path. So you can do right type along kind of a curve, but it's never gonna alter the type. It's just gonna alter where their base horizontal is. So this is the way to fully customize that I want you to know. You have to turn them into outlines. This would be true in Adobe Illustrator as well in order to fully control the kerning, the curves, the negative space. And then the S. Outline it. Make it bigger. So once you understand the process, you can go pretty fast, even if you have quite a bit of type. And it definitely helps to have that text blocking sketch. Even if you end up needing a little bit more space than you thought. All right, so now I can modify any one of these individually. I can also select them all. I'm going to delete all of, actually I'll just leave that text path because that was the main one I used. These others I will delete. Don't need them. Oops, I think I deleted the one I did want. Command Z. Yeah, I want to keep that one. Don't need this one. Don't need this one. Don't need this one. All right, I'm going to lock that, turn it off. Okay. So now, make sure everything is unlocked. Except I don't need this anymore. Nope, I do need that. All right, so now if I just draw a box, it will select all of these together. And that allows me to transform them, even though they're different paths, kind of place them. I think that works pretty well. And then I wanted to do this star. But is there anything I want to modify individually, play with? Well, maybe this W. I can double click on it and it won't select all of them, right? Remember, if you do all of the text in one, it doesn't let you individually select each letter. So that's why I separated them out. I'm going to take that lip off and then let's see. I'm going to try. Get rid of any of these excess ones. Okay, now I'm going to select them all. And because I deleted all of the excess, I checked each anchor point, which is the pain. Now I'm going to move it all up and they'll all move together. So that's just a, a nice kind of easy way you can play with the typeface. Once you know how it works. Shift command Z will redo something. So I, I pushed it up a little too far. I'm going to Select these again. 
and then just click one and push it down a little bit into about right there. Same thing with this side. And push these ones down a little. So how do I check if there are excess anchor points? I click on it and I delete. And if I delete and then there's still one underneath, then I have an excess anchor point that I got rid of, just like there. Or maybe I don't even need the anchor point. You can do Command Z if you do need it. Okay, now I'm going to select them. Holding down Command, selecting all of them, and then Stretch. Ah, Got to click so carefully. Holding down Command, select all the anchor points that you want to stretch. And then Stretch. And I can lengthen it. And while they're all selected, I can just move them where I want. And then if there's things I want to round, double click, use the cornering tool once they're straight. That can work. But you might have to do that all the way around. Because some of these are some pretty bizarre curves. Or double click and set your own curve using command. Or even add your own anchor point. So all these different ways we can control the curves. There, I like that. And again, you can always delete, add your own anchor point. Set your own curves. Almost there. Come on. Yeah, I don't mind that. And again, you don't need to be a perfectionist. I'm not always the best role model for that. You just want the type to be readable and to have a little bit of your own input in how it's designed. I'm going to drop this side, get rid of excess anchor points, select them all, holding down command, just a lot of tweaking, I'm going to find what you want, and then I can round some out. So I'm just going to use the curves. There we go. I like that. So many excess anchor points. It's kind of surprising, honestly. I'm going to select both of these. I got rid of the excess. Just drag those down. They're a little bit more satisfying. And then I just love that negative space. Then I might select these and just move those up. Come on. Command, select multiples. Just move that spacing up. And we've got a little duplicate right here get rid of. 
All right, I feel like I have sufficiently modified this.